Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to create the glitch distortion logo intro animation in Premiere Pro and for this purpose we are going to use the glitch distortion logo intro template and you can download this template from the videohide.net or the Envato elements. The download link is in the description section below. First let's take a look at its intro. So you can create the logo intro something like this with the help of glitch distortion logo intro template for the Premiere Pro. You can download this from the link in the description section below. After downloading, you will get a zip file something like this. Okay. And you need to extract this using any unzip software like WinRR or 7zip. So right click and select the extract to glitch distortion. I already got it. So this is the thereafter you will get this folder and just open this folder inside this folder you will have three folder folders number one is the font so these are the fonts which have been used in this particular intro so this is the font you can download this font and this is the link you just go to that link and download it it's a free font all right and let's come back and then we have the glitch distortion logo intro so this is the actually the help file so you will get a one file something like this you won't get this file because i already uh, tried this out so we'll have this uh, glitch intro all right so you have to just so just open this and this is going to open in any version of your premiere pro whichever you have then it's going to ask you to convert this in case you have the different version in which this template was created so just press the ok so it's going to automatically rename it and then it's going to launch it so you will um, get this kind of sequence or this and you can just play it and this is going to show you this preview right over here so now you need to place your video right over here and you can change your text right over here so that's very easy and simple to do just go to the project okay glitch distortion logo intro and here you have the number one edit placeholder just click on this and you have the option to change the logo and colors and the text so first we'll go to the logo and just click this sequence so if you just double click it it's going to open right over here okay and over here we need to place our logo all right so let me import my logo right over here so i have imported my logo and i'm going to drop it right over here okay and you can see I will expand it up to the length of this from here and then I'm going to resize it so I'll go to the effects control and I'm going to scale it down maybe something like this okay and I will just turn off this layer by clicking on this eye icon so the text of this logo like this one this is hidden okay I just want my logo to appear over here All right and then I'll press control s to save this and then come back and let's play it now okay so this is done and you can even customize the colors etc so if you go to the colors folder okay so you have the color background one color details two okay so just open this and you can change this color from black to let's say red okay and it's going to change that color if you change this color this one and I think so you can change that as well but I'll go for the black I like that one and if you want to change the glitch color just click on the glitch color and you will have over here and over here you can change the glitch color so this is the hue if you go to the effects control this is the hue so just change this you can see this color is being changed right over here okay so i'll have something like this which matches with my logo and let's play it logo intro let's play it now okay so this is how it looks and now let's change this text this text which is right over here on the bottom so you can change this text from here so in order to change that you just need to double click on this this is a nested sequence and inside it you will see a text somewhere yes this is the text so just double click it 
and it's going to change over here and just double click it and then it's going to show you this so change it by going to the essential graphics and click on the edit and over here if it is not shown over here just go to the windows and select the essential graphics okay and that bit would be shown over here just double click it and type your website name so i'll type mine harshvardhan art dot com okay once i'm done i'll save it and if i go back and now play it you can see this is done but the only problem right now which i feel is that it misses the glitch audio so for that purpose i'll go to the envato elements because uh, that's the one-stop shop i have the subscription of envato elements so i'll go for the music and over here you have the option to choose for the logos and indent as well so you will find the music for logo so let me type glitch logo okay and that's the search term and over here you will find different options so you can play through them and download any of these okay and i have already downloaded it one which i liked for this purpose all right so i have downloaded this clear glitch logo you can download this i'll put the download link as well okay you can download this from the audio jungle as well audio jungle or the envato elements okay so let me bring in this audio this is the wave file so i'll just have the wave file let me just drop it over here and drop it under this and this is almost of the same length you can see and now if i play it i need to render this out reason being that this is a heavy project and you can see this red line that means it's not being rendered so first you will render it and i'll show you the final result so here is the final result so thank you so much i hope you found this video useful if you did hit the like button if you have any question or if you want to say something leave that in the comment section below and if you want to know how to create the amazing epic titles or epic historical titles in premiere pro using a template then you can check out this video in this video i have shown you how to use this epic titles template in premiere pro see you in the next video